Hi, I'm Al McCrabby at Sailing Company and welcome to our second series of videos on torque transducers. Um, we've been working with sensor technologies in England for several years now and I'm really excited to uh, introduce you to our test system here that we've made uh, to try to demonstrate the use of a torque transducer. Now you know torque transducers are found in many applications in science and industry where a process needs to be monitored or controlled on a continual basis, but these can also be used to fully characterize a component or system in the context of a development project or in research. So, you know, what if your task was to, you know, find some kind of a motor, electric motor that can do a certain job, and you find one online uh, that has a lot of good features to it and you know one of those might be the size, the weight, the cost or something like that but when you look at the specifications you find that there's only a few numbers or there's very, you know almost nothing there to go on. In order to in intelligently apply a motor to your system you, you need about a dozen different characteristics of the motor and a lot of these characteristics have to do with the torque of the motor that it could generate under certain conditions and having a, a torque sensor from sensor technologies is the best way to find out all that information about a motor that otherwise uh, would be very difficult to use properly. So uh, what our case here is is that we've got a permanent magnet DC motor uh, that fills the or fits the bill of what we needed it to do but it, it only came with a rated voltage and a speed and the amount of current that it that the manufacturer thought that it drew at that rated speed that's all that it talked about so so what we decided to do was to develop this test system so that we could more fully characterize the motor so um, the, the, the system we're using is really based upon, you know, the, the heart of the system is the torque transducer and the uh, torque view uh, application that runs on the PC that goes along with it. And we're running torque view 5 here. We're going to take a look at, at some of the features of this whole thing right here. Um, first of all, let me just mention that the, the torque transducer itself is a Rayleigh wave transducer and it's a non-contact type and it has both digital and analog outputs available to it. In this case here in our test system we're using just the digital output which um, you can get this to be any number of data presentation types. It can be RS-232, USB or CAN bus and in, this, in the case of this transducer, this one happens to be connected with USB, so it just connects right into the computer and it's very easy to use. So now, let's take a look at, at Torque View 5. Um, this is the latest one. When, when this is all installed, it, you can see along the top here that there are five tabs. And we have here, we have dials for torque and speed and for power. This transducer has the speed option in it, so because of that we can get the shaft speed of the motor and we can also derive the power that, that the motor is producing from that. These dials are all uh, configurable and I'll explain more about that in a minute. Let's go on to the, the digital tab which is next. And what this has is some bar graphs here for torque, power and speed as you can see. And it also has instantaneous numerical readouts as well as peak readouts. And the peak readouts are very important. We'll see why uh, in the next few sections of our video because we're going to be taking some peak readings. The next tab has to do with a chart recorder and we'll watch how that works as well in subsequent videos. And the next one is our setup tab which allows you to configure your dials for your scale and the units that you're using. Here you have scale and units over here and, and very importantly also you have two different sets of filters. One is for the torque view application itself down here. The other one is for the transducer which consists of both the torque filter and the speed filter. And the, to, to sum up in the center here you have all your file management and your 
data export capabilities right there. And the last part of this um, is the about page, which contains information about the software and the transducer that you're using. And it also has this enunciator for the transducer status. And that, in, that includes a number of wa warning lights over here. If there's any problems with the transducer, you'll see that come up here. So that's pretty much uh, a quick overview of what TorqueView is. And we'll actually see it in operation in the next video. So um, thanks for watching this one. We'll go on to the next one shortly.